Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from Scratch. In the last episode, we learned how to create the schema, that is the site framework for our application. We also got our common reusable components in place. Today, we are going to build on top of it and what we are going to do is create the backend where we will create our database, we will create our schemas and we'll create the respective models. Let's get started. This is part five of the mean stack complete live project development from scratch. Please do support this project. Please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like the videos. Please do comment, share and discuss in the comment section. Don't forget to share this channel with your friends and colleagues. All right, so, so far um, we have created, uh, we have covered four episodes where we did all the basic groundwork for the application. Today we are going to do the backend heavyweight lifting, which is creating the database, the schemas and the models. So following are the tasks we will do today. We'll create a MongoDB database. We will create few collections. We'll create the respective schemas and models. Please note that as we progress in this particular series in terms of building the application, we may want to refactor, we may want to add, remove, update some of these, <coughs> which we will do eventually. Uh, but let's start with this basic schemas and we'll keep adding and modifying them as and when we need them. Let's get started with first creating the database. I'm using MongoDB Compass application for this. All right, so what we'll do is we'll create a new database here and we'll call it loans manager and since we need at least one collection name in it right and that's what i'm giving which is users right so we'll create more as we progress let's <clears throat> let's create that and once we do select loans manager and you would see there is one collection which is users which is empty now which is okay which is what we want right now we just need a placeholder for our loans manager which is our database right so task number one, which is to create database is done. Now let's go to our code and go to loans API repo, right? Navigate to it. And then what we will do here is we'll create few models. And what is a model? Model is nothing but, so models are, which is having the schema, right? Or in terms of think of it like an interface. For example, our application will need users models which is what will be a kind of a data type. Think of it like that. So you need users. We need loans. We need payments. We need invoices. Right. We need customers. Users and customers are different. Right. Users can be the admin application, but customer is the one who has taken a loan. All right. Then we also need some kind of settings and we'll also need some kind of um, audit logs. Right. So these are the models that we need in our application. So for that, what we'll do in the loans UI uh, API application, I'll create a new folder and I'll call it models. Okay. And here we are going to create the models for our application. So I'll say users dot model dot JS, right? And similarly, uh, we'll create some more, say customers dot model dot JS and some more payments dot model dot js will need invoices dot model dot js we will need settings dot model dot js and we will also need loans dot model dot js right and finally we will also need um, audit dot model dot js so these are the model files which we will keep iterating we'll keep modifying as we progress in the application but first let's start with the basic one we'll working with customer right so let's start with customer and then we will keep working on each individual uh, model as we progress along so the first thing that we need is we'll need to install the mongoose library so i'm going to say npm install mongoose Right. So we are installing the mongoose library here because that's what we will use to connect with our MongoDB. 
and we will have to write and say const mongoose is equal to require and we'll say mongoose library is required once we do that now we need to create a schema right so we are going to say const uh, customer schema equal to mongoose dot schema right now here we are going to build the schema and what is the schema it looks like this right so we'll have first name which is your string then you will have last name which is again string right email address string phone number again these are all the these are all the different um, uh, things that you want to add in your schema prefer uh, however you would like just add them here right so once you create the schema then what we need to do we need to export this so how will you do that mongoose dot model right so what model is this this is customers and what is the schema it is representing customer schema right and what we will do we will take this into customer model equal to right and then we'll say module dot exports is equal to customer model right so our customer model is ready right so we have got our customer model but this is if you look at it it's very basic right um, it can have lot more details so that i don't want to do it right now because it would be time consuming and e the whole point is to learn right so i will create and add as more keys to it but for now understand that whenever you create a schema throw in all the fields objects that you want to create you can have it as an object you can have it an array number strings any type of data type right so all of that you add it and create a schema right so that is customer schema similarly copy this paste it on loans right and let's call it loan schema right so here you'll say loan name loan type right so we'll use different types we can use right we can use enumerator we can use array right um, loan type array or so say anything right um, so i'll quickly create few and loan amount is number right and loan uh, issue date which will be a date format and loan status right so this we will make it loan type enum right for now i'm leaving it string but we'll convert it to uh, enum so call it loan model here it will be exporting loan model here it will be loan schema right so this becomes and the model will be loans right so this is how we have created two models right that is what we will create for our application we will have all the different types of models defined for our application right so i will do that later i will try and get all of that models ready by in some time and we will take it from there but the next thing that i want to show you here is that this model right so this is an interesting thing because this is where you would have all the details captured all right so understand that creating models and creating schema is the first task for you to building any backend apis so go ahead create your uh, create your database right the first thing is to create the database the second thing is to create the models and the third is to create the models uh, second is to create the schema third is to create the models right so i will go ahead and complete these models and i will keep it ready for the next and we will start building the customer screens uh, starting next episode on the ui side right so we'll start with simple but we'll keep adding and growing as and when we progress right do let me know if you have any uh, queries or any doubts one more thing we need definitely is we need to create routes for it so let me create that also so here i'm going to say customers.js and copy it from here module right so whatever uh, models you have created here the same you will create the routes right and let's create those routes quickly and say payments.js 
then you would have users dot js you already have that okay invoices dot js and you would have settings dot js loans dot js right so whatever models we created will have to create their routes right in all of those files just copy paste the basic code which is the starter code which is nothing but slash that means whenever we point to it right so we got all the basic things set up now the next we'll do is import all of these into our app.js right so i'm just going to copy paste it a couple of times and here we will say customers right that's one of our routes and here you'll say customers router dot j and we are here we are saying payments payments then we'll say invoices invoices router here we are going to say settings here we are going to say settings and we also need loans right so please understand uh, some of these i'll modify offline because to complete them but i am going to give you exactly what i'm doing so you get the idea that we create the models we create the schema in it and we create a model we export it and we will use that in respective routes right here so for each of it if it's a customer import that customer model here customer model is equal to require require right so here you will say dot slash models slash customers model right so in each respective file so this is customers so we imported customer right if it is payments we will import payments model right so we need to create that so um, i will add them right so it's blank now so it won't show but i will add that so you get the point that whichever route you have you will import that module inside that particular respective route right so once you do that our application will start showing up right and that's the task for today i will complete it offline i'll add the details i'll add some of the keys to it and get it complete uh, once we have all this we should be able to start serving in the in the next episode right so in the next episode i'll cover customers ui screen and we will build that so that we can then connect with our backend api it's shaping up good uh, there's a lot of code there's a lot of effort involved i'm trying my best i hope you will support me so please do consider uh, subscribing to my channel please do like it if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials thank you so much in the next episode we will generate our modules and routing schema for all the models that we just generated but that would be for the ui all right thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode